Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. And yet again, two weeks in a row, I'm coming at you with two. This is my second rebate haul for this week. You know why? And I'm not with Sarah. Oh, I miss Sarah. Hi, Sarah, if you watch this. Um, I'm finishing up the jack-o'-lantern. I was super close, I told you. Uh, on Tuesday, I think, when Sarah and I did our haul. Um, I only needed 12, I think. Something like that. So I'm super duper close, and I got a weekend warrior for $5 when I do 15 This month has been incredible for me with Ibotta. They have been extremely generous, and I'm sorry. I know not all accounts are getting all the bonuses. I don't know why I am but I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna be grateful for it. So we are gonna head into Walmart and finish out this awesome jack-o'-lantern bonus. I cannot wait to see that $45 deposited into my Ibotta account. And then of course I'll transfer it right on over to PayPal. So if you are new to using any of the rebate apps and you're unsure how to use them, I do have tutorials linked actually in every single one of my videos and I walk you through how to use Ibotta, which by the way, if you sign up using my referral code, which the link is down in the description box if you're not using it, you earn back $10 for scanning your first receipt. OMG, that's a big bonus. Uh, not forgetting like so many offers, you just get $10 for scanning your first receipt. It's crazy. Anyways, the tutorial walks you through how to use Ibotta, how to use Fetch Rewards, how to use Swagbucks, and how to use Shopkick. Those are my top four apps that I use very consistently that I have made the most amount of money with. So all of my referral links will be listed down in the description box as well if you're not currently using one of them and you would like to. All right, we're gonna head into Walmart. We are going to finish out this bonus. Let me know if you finish the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, we're down to the wire. I think it expires in like two days or something like that. So I'm definitely getting it done today. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's run into Walmart. All right, here we are in the Walmart. Gonna finish this uh, jack-o'-lantern and weekend warrior and snag myself 50 dang dollars worth of bonus money. I'm so excited. So the first thing I was looking for, I did this on Wednesday. I'm going to do it again. It's on the Tylenol PM. It's priced at $5.11. We have a $2 Ibotta rebate for this and we have a $2 paper coupon. You can always search coupontom.com to find out what insert that comes from. So that'll make my final cost just $1.11 for this. Couldn't find this when I was at Sarah's store on Tuesday, but I found it in my store. The Jergens Glow in the Travel and Trial section. I'm going to scan it real quick just to make sure. Yes, it's still attaching to the $2 rebate. It is a limit of two. So I'm going to go ahead and grab both of these. So I'll pay $3.94 at the register. Submit to Ibotta for $2 back on each. It makes them free plus a six cent moneymaker. And only the fair to medium is attaching to that $2 rebate. We're gonna do another Jergens rebate. I'm gonna grab this small thing of Jergens lotion for $3.38. I have a $1 Ibotta rebate on this product and I'm going to use a coupon for $2 off. So that's gonna drop my cost down to just 38 cents for this bottle of Jergens. Looks like my store restocked. I'm so happy. The rebate is getting ready to expire. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Always Z's period underwear again. Um, the big package of seven is priced at $6.97. So I'm going to go ahead and use a $1 paper coupon. I'll pay $5.97 and then I'll submit to Ibotta for a $3 rebate back. Drops my cost down to just $2.97 for this. All right, my store said they had the Remedy Kombucha tea in stock and I could not find it. It's supposed to be over by the produce. 
it would have been a freebie with Ibotta and Isle. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this can of Bumblebee Solid White Tuna Fish. It's priced at $2.26. Have a rebate on Ibotta for 25 cents, so it'll drop it down to 201. All right, we're gonna go for another pasta rebate. Sarah's store did not have the thin spaghetti. So I'm gonna look and see if they have the thin spaghetti at my store, which they do, but only the big packs. And I don't want the big pack. So I'm gonna figure out which kind I want to grab. All right, I think I've decided I'm just gonna grab the fettuccine noodles. I never buy fettuccine noodles. Is that good with spaghetti? I guess it doesn't really matter. But anyways, these are priced at $2.57, and I bought a Hesse rebate for $0.50 cents back, so it'll drop my cost down to two oh seven. dollars All right, I'm going to grab the all again because my rebate reset, and uh, it's super duper cheap, so it's $2.97. I have a $0.75 cent I bought a rebate for this product, and I'm going to use a $1.50 coupon. So that I'll drop my cost down to just 72 cents for this all detergent. All right, did y'all see the new uh, little teeny money maker that we got on the Airwick starter kits? Wish we had some dang coupons, but we don't. Uh, they're $1.47. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I was trying to figure out, it is a limit of five. I'm gonna grab four of them today. That box was like torn apart. So I'm not grabbing that one. I'm gonna grab four of the Airwick starter kits, which are gonna cost me $5.88. And then I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for $1.75 back on each. So $7 coming back from Ibotta, making these free plus $1.12 moneymaker. And even though I am getting four, remember this will only count as one rebate towards my bonus, but I will get the $1.75 back for each one of them. All right, I'm gonna grab some orange juice next. I brought some, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. My girls love orange juice and they sucked it right down. So I'm gonna grab some, they'll be super excited. And I'm gonna go for the Simply Orange Juice, which is $3.88 but I'll pay that at the register. I'll submit to Ibotta for 50 cents, a 50 cent rebate. And then I also have a 50 cent bonus that I will complete because this is the second offer in that bonus. So it'll drop it down to 288. I tried to find a couple of rebates that my store does not carry like the Kali Power noodles. My store doesn't carry it. So I'm gonna go for some Wee yogurt because Donna loves this stuff. It's priced at $1.34 in my store and I haven't I bought a rebate that requires me to buy two. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these. So I'll pay $2.68 at the register and submit to Ibotta for 40 cents back for buying two. Drops my cost down to $2.28 for both of them. I need one more Ibotta rebate. So I'm going for the super pretzels. My girls are about halfway through the package that I just bought. So I'm gonna grab them. They're $2.76, so I'll pay that at the register and then submit to Ibotta for 40 cents back. So it drops my cost down to $2.36 for these. And I will be doing two pay with Ibotta's or what's now called gift cards. Uh, so that will complete both of my bonuses. All right, we're gonna do a little shop kick bundle because I'm gonna have a really nice money maker and I thought this was a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna grab one of the Clorox Cleanup All Purpose Cleaner, which is priced at $3.28. And this Shopkick bundle requires three products. Uh, the second product I'm gonna grab is the Clorox um, Disinfectant Wipes, which are priced at $2.38. I'm gonna submit to the coupons.com app for a $1 reimbursement for buying two of these products. And then the third product I'm gonna grab is the Splashless Bleach, which is priced at $2.48. So these three products are gonna to total me $8.14. I'll get that $1 back from the coupons.com app. Then I'll submit to Shop Kicks for 1,025 kicks back, which is $4.10. So it makes my cost $3.04 for all three of these products. So just about a dollar and one cent for each product, which I think is a great deal. And there must be something wrong with the Shopkick app right now because it wouldn't let me scan any products. It just kept saying it didn't recognize where I was location-wise, 
which is really weird. So if you can scan the products, you also get 15 scan kicks. Um, it would drop your cost to under a dollar each. All right, this is going to complete OMG, my jack-o'-lantern bonus and my weekend warrior bonus. Let's head to, I don't know which table, but one table in my house and go over my final cost. All right, we are gonna do the uh, debrief right here in the car because I'm in the school pickup line. My house is so chaotic right now because they are finishing up all of the painting that they've been doing um, for the past two days and there's stuff literally everywhere. I had nowhere that I could try to set my products up and film them. <laughs> and it's, I, I'm gonna be so glad when they are done because my house is in a shambles right now and it's driving me nuts. So let's do the debrief. All right, I'm just gonna show you my receipts. I did two receipts. This is the um, Shopkick deal that I did and I put all the Airwicks on this one. So that was $14.02. And then I did this receipt with everything else and all of my coupons went through just fine. I think I only used three coupons. And that was $28.87. So let's talk about what I got back because it was a lot. OMG, I'm so happy to be finished with that big bonus. That was very exciting. Definitely worth it, um, but I was one of the lucky ones that continued getting midweeks and weekend warriors and the extra $10 bonuses. So I was really able to get a lot of great stuff this month through my rebate shopping, a ton of food items, which I always love doing that. So, all right, we had a total cost today of $42.89. I did two pay with Ibotta's. It's actually just called gift cards now. It's right on the home page. Some of you have told me that you don't have that option, which I think is really weird, but maybe some accounts don't have that option. I just call it pay with Ibotta because that's what I've always called it. It used to be called pay with Ibotta. Um, so that counted for two of my rebates that I needed to finish both of these bonuses. So I earned um, 22 cents from pay with Ibotta because you also get cash back. A dollar from the coupons.com app for reimbursement on the two Clorox products. Four dollars and ten cents from Shopkick. So weird that I couldn't scan the products in store. On one receipt, I got back twelve dollars and eighty cents from my bought it. And on the second receipt, I got back seven dollars for those Airwicks. I had, I forgot to tell you about this in the store. I also had a sweet and salty bonus. Um, which was from my uh, pretzels, the super pretzels. So I got an extra 50 cent bonus there. I had a 50 cent bonus that I earned for doing um, some type of orange juice two weeks ago and then the one that I got today. I earned my $45 jack-o'-lantern bonus. So excited about that. And my $5 weekend warrior. So total that I earned today was $76.12, and this haul cost $42.89, which makes it all free plus a $33.23 money maker. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna give you all of the totals for the whole entire month with all of them. The math still works out the exact same because I already reported, you know, anytime I had a cost or a money maker or any of that. The only thing that changed was there was, I did a haul on 10 and today. So those were all of the hauls that I did for my rebate shopping. My haul from 1022, if you caught that, was with Kroger and um, Walmart. And I reported that I got back $3.15 from Kroger Cashback, but I actually got back $4.40, so I underreported that. And then I had a bonus on Fetch for the Thomas Mini Croissants that I hadn't noticed, but I did scam my receipt, and I got back another $0.80. Cents. And then last, no, this Tuesday when I did my haul with Sarah, Shopcake glitched again. Has that been happening to you? I got back an extra $4.90 from Shopcake, that uh, I shouldn't have got back, but 
they credited me like double on a couple of things. So that was awesome. So my haul on 10 one was a 92 cent money maker. My haul on 10 six was a $5 and 49 cent cost. My haul on 10 13 was a 123 money maker. My haul on 10 20 was a $10 and eight cent cost. My haul on 10 22 was a $4 Hang on, no, three, it was a, dang it, I forgot to redo the math. It was a $4.56 cost, but then I earned an extra dollar twenty-five from Kroger Cash Back that I hadn't figured in in 80 cents. So that made it only like less than a $2 cost. And then my haul on Tuesday was an $8.58 cost. And then my haul today was a 3323 money maker. So it makes all of my shopping all month long to complete this jack-o'-lantern bonus. Everything I got, which was so many food items, and I got some great cleaning supplies too, all free plus a $13.62 money maker. So excited about that and so excited that I finished up the jack-o'-lantern bonus. Sorry we're not in our normal location but you already know why, because I explained it. All right, so that's what I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much, and I'm gonna see you again soon. Bye!